Hey you guys and welcome to my movie channel. What? Thank you to my four subscribers because I have yet to even post a video. This will be my first video. You guys already subscribed to me so thank you. Um, this is going to be a movie haul obviously and this is what this channel is going to be about. It's going to be about movies and TV shows so yay. Hope you guys enjoy. <clears throat> so here we go. Now these first three movies are my newest movies and I recently got them at Blockbuster in the 3 for 20. You know, comes out to like 22, $21 and something with tax and everything. And the first one I got is Tom Cruise. I mean, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. And it stars Tom Cruise and Jeremy Renner and Simon Pegg and some other people. And it is the fourth Mission Impossible movie. <clears throat> so, yeah. And it is when Ethan Hunt is disemboweled the whole IMF is disavowed as terrorists and something, and they have to set it right. So I've been wanting to see this. I was so sad I didn't get to see this in theaters. <sighs> and also something that was sad that I didn't get to see in theaters because I really wanted to see them in 3D was Immortal. And it stars Henry Cavill, Freddie Pinto, and Mickey Rourke. And it is about <clears throat> and it is about this this there are the the gods uh, appoint Theseus as their um, warrior person type thing to fight King Hyperion who wants to get this bow thing that can unleash war on heaven and earth so I want to stop that and then this one I was really glad to see and it is London Boulevard and it's there's Keira Knightley and Colin Farrow oh Colin I love him he's one of my favorite actors and she is like one of my favorite actresses and I'm glad they're getting moved together and this one is about how I, I guess he recently gets out of jail and it's like he wants to go straight and everything but and he's her bodyguard and he would just kind of be pulling him back so I don't know. we'll see now these next movies I have are the ones that I've had on my shelf for a while right and I have yet to watch them guys in some cases it's been like a year or so I don't even know and the first one is Domino and it stars Keira Knightley make your work and Edgar Ramirez <laughs> and I saw part of this a little bit of it on TV once so ever since then I wanted to watch it so yeah I finally got it still haven't watched it yet <laughs> and then next I got Daybreakers and it stars Sam Neill, Isabel Lucas, William Defoe, and Ethan Hawke and this is I heard a lot of good things about this and it was about how vampires have now taken over the whole world and there are only little bits of humanity left and they're being like put on farms with blood and stuff and then somebody I think it's like cure or something. I don't know but hopefully it is as good as what everyone says. And then next I got Beastly which stars Neil Patrick Harris, Mary Kate Olsen, Vanessa Hudgens and Alex Pettifer and it is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast and I think we all know what that is so hmm. yeah it's about this guy. guy and he is cursed by the witch who is played by Mary Kate Olsen until he finds someone who truly loves him for him or something. Yeah. And then next I got The Town and it stars Ben Affleck, Rebecca Hall, John Hamm, Jeremy Renner, and Blake Lively and it is a bank heist film and I've been wanting to see this forever so ah, fun times. The next movie I got is The Fighter and it stars Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale, and Amy Adams and it is based on a true story of this fighter guy I guess who <clears throat> Um, is having trouble with his family and trying to go for a title and everything so there we go and then the next one I got is Jane Eyre and it stars Judy Dench, Jamie Bell Michael Fassbender and Mia Waski yeah um, and I believe it is based off a Charlotte Bronte novel so if I'm on just collect me but yeah I've been wanting to see this really should have read the book uh, I <laughs> and the next movie I got is Case 39 and it stars Renee Zellweger, Ian McShane, and Bradley Cooper and, it, and it's about this social worker who's like saving this little girl from her parents who thinks like she's evil and things like that and you know maybe when she takes her to home maybe that little girl really is evil. Yeah really? <laughs> and then I got Our Idiot Brother and it stars Emily Mortar, Zoe Deschanel, Elizabeth Banks, and Paul Rudd and I think maybe the title says it all. I've heard mixed reviews about this so hopefully we'll see and then <clears throat> next I have 
1408, and it stars Samuel L. Jackson and John Cusack, and it is my first Blu-ray. My friend's mother-in-law gave it to me, so, uh, and I think I already have this on DVD, but that's okay. It's my first Blu-ray. <laughs> we shall see. She doesn't have a Blu-ray player, so, there we go. <clears throat> and then, these next couple of movies, I kind of already saw, but I just haven't owned them, or I'm moving, I'm moving a lot of my collection from VHS to DVD. Like, I got rid of a lot of my VHSs, so now I'm trying to slowly buy them on DVD. And for those of you who you don't know, VHS came before DVD. Yes. Old timer over here. Yeah. <laughs> and so the first one I got is The Legends of the Fall, and it stars Brad Pitt, Anthony Hopkins, Edward Ziegler, Patrick Colley, Henry Thomas, James Horner, just a whole bunch of people. It's a really long movie, and I remember really loving this. I used to play, I think, on USA or TNT all the time, and so I finally get to see it, so yay. Well, I mean, I've already saw it, but yeah, I still haven't taken off the plastic. I got it at Walmart in a bargain bin. Also from Walmart in a bargain bin, I got Interview with the Vampire, and it stars Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Antonio Banderas, Stephen Ray, Christian Slater, and Chris Kirsten Dunst. Ah, oh, just tell me who hasn't seen this movie yet. I haven't seen it since I got the DVD. You know, I bought it specifically because I haven't bought it in a long while. It's also bargain bin. So next, <clears throat> I got AI, artificial intelligence, and it stars Haley Joe Osment and Drew Law in this movie. It was absolutely awesome and I'm glad because I found this in the bargain bin and it was a special edition one and yeah and then look at these nice coverings so yeah this is a great movie from what I can remember I saw it when I was younger so hopefully it's still as good in my memory and the next I got Red Riding Hood which is obviously a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood and it stars Amanda Seafield, Gary Oldman, Billy Burke, Shia Fernandez and Mike's Max Irons, and yeah, I saw this in theaters, but I really want to own it, I remember, so I haven't seen it since, but hopefully I will get to it soon. <clears throat> and then, I got St. Trinian's 2, The Legend of Fritton's Gold, and I'm so glad it finally came out on DVD here in America. I was just so excited, and I know there's supposed to be a third one, but it's taking a really long time, people. Come on, get on with that. Loving. And then, Taboo. And it stars Nick Style, Etiquette Thomas, January Jones, Laura Henner, and some other people. And it's about this group of friends who, like, get together again after college and stuff. After there's been a lot of backstabbing. And they play a little game of taboo. And, like, all around here is like, would you have sex for money? Would you sleep with your partner's best friend? Would you sleep with someone of the same sex? Would you have a threesome? Would you ever and it's like all that around and then so yeah it's like a really creepy hauntingly good movie and i loved it and kind of miss having it so yes and then last two um <laughs> the godfather and the coppola rest restoration i got this on amazon a while back when i finally i had it in my cart forever and i saw it finally go down for a little while to like 25 dollars and i was so excited and it has godfather part one part two and number three and it has all the extras in it and stuff and yeah that is so nice Hot. so <clears throat> finally be able to see the godfather because i had watched it when i was younger my aunt had the vhs tape so hopefully it's still as good as when i was young and then i got last but not least the dragon tattoo trilogy and this is the sweetest original edition and they have subtitles and i think they do like a dub voice over thing i'll probably just watch it in the subtitles and it has a girl with the dragon tattoo the girl who played with fire and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest and i remember watching the first one and liking it the original swedish version so <clears throat> i'm glad to finally get this i too waited for this to go down before i bought it so on amazon so yeah so those are all the movies I have to show you for today. And so hopefully I'll get to some of these soon. And please tell me, you guys, if you have 
and watched any of these movies and whether they were good or bad, liked it or not liked it, or if you think there's a movie that I should definitely watch first, just tell me that and I will try to get that one sooner. So hopefully you guys like this movie haul and I will leave my Flickster and my Spill.com profile and some, I think my TV show thing below try to remember to do that and also my Google Plus and Facebook um, and that's all so you guys thank you for subscribing and I will see you guys later bye